Hey guys, um, this is another AP Physics C video. It's on uh, rotational inertia and rotational dynamics. Um, so, you know, maybe re uh, pause and read the problem. Pause the video, read the problem, maybe you can solve it. And here it goes, I'm going to start explaining it. explaining it. Okay, first of all, what I would do with this problem, you know, it's good to, it's always good when, um, when, of course, appropriate to draw a free dry, free body diagram. So I'm gonna draw a free, uh, free draw body diagram of this cylinder right here. And first and foremost, there is this force due to the gravity and the mass. So it has a mass m. times g, which is gravity, of course, and then, you know, notice how gravity is always going straight down. However, there's also a component, which is right here, mg cosine, and then there's mg sine, which is going that way. So, um, in this problem, mg sine is going to be important, because it's going down the ramp. And we'll see right now why mg cosine doesn't really play a role in this particular problem. My theta. Sorry, it came out a little sloppy. Um, and then there's also a normal force. Fn. And if you read the problem, it says without slipping. That means that when the ball rolls down, it doesn't just go down, it actually rolls. And this is because the friction. And you may already know you may have already known that, like when a cylinder, for example, rolls down, um what allows it to actually like spin is its friction. And this is why. Because friction is going this way. Let's label this F sub F because of friction. And then you know torque this is the radius, the center of mass right here, and then the radius is R. The torque is gonna is gonna be caused by this, which allows it to rotate because um, the torque is gonna make it, you know, spin because it's being pulled and it will spin like that way, frontwards. And then as it goes down, this that's due to gravity. So then, I'm gonna start with a Newton's second law, which is F net equals to m a. And then I'm going to write down, since we know that this is going down, mg sine of theta is which I guess it could say winning. Sine of theta minus the force of the friction, which is what's kind of making it drag equals m. Well, it's supposed to be a big M, by the way. So big M A, because it says right here, big M, capital M. Okay. Now, since this is producing torque, we can also say this. This is R from the radius of this, and then this is the frictional force. So the frictional force times the radius is going to give us a torque. And then also another uh, information that we know is that torque is equal to um, I times alpha. This is this is just like saying F equals MA, but this is for the rotation the its rotational analogy. And then here we uh, we know what um what torque equals look, it's right there. So we're gonna plug that into right there. F sub F equals Oh, f of f times r, sorry, times r equals i times uh, um, uh, angular acceleration, sorry. <laughs> and then for this particular cylinder, you know, if you look up, either they'll give it to you or you have to look up on, on like on your book or something, or you might just have to memorize it depending on your circumstance. Um, I for this object is one half 
mr squared. And then a, we know that from from the bridge equation that a over r equals to the angular acceleration. So linear acceleration divided by the radius gives us that. It's just a simplification. You'll see right now why it's going to come in handy. Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be capital R. You'll see why, because it's going to cancel out. And then this, we just bring it down. You'll see in a moment that the simplifications um, are actually are actually going to help us a lot for this problem. So then this R cancels with this R. We're left with just this. And remember, we want to solve for FF of a uh, force of friction because it's going to help us solve for this A if we know that. And then you do uh, some simple algebra. Bring the R over there, it's going to cancel, so you're going to get. Um, And we're almost done here because you found out what F, F, F sub F equals, which is the frictional force. And then we're just going to plug it back into this equation from earlier. So that's going to give us mg sine of theta minus one half mass of the cylinder equals ma. Now you want to solve for this variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this over on the other side since you can they have the common term so you can just simply add them so one half plus two halves is going to give us three halves and they remember because I'm adding this on the other side just so you know hopefully I didn't lose you there and then um, I'm just gonna divide three halves m on this side and this is going to be reciprocal and then this m is going to cancel out with that m so hope, um, hopefully you see that and then you get a equals two thirds g sine of theta and that is your final answer oh I'm going to rewrite that on the back so it's a little clear or on a different paper because that won't work, come on. Let's see. <laughs> okay. So the final answer for this particular problem is two thirds G sine of theta. Yes. Um I hope this video helped you. Hopefully if you watch it a couple of times it might even help you a little more. And notice how I showed a lot of a lot of work, you know, because in the AP exam, they expect you to know that that you know to to show all your work clearly is going to give you more points, because they don't like to assume that that you might know what you're doing. They want to know that you know what you're doing. So all it's all, see how I drew the free free body diagram. In this particular problem, they just might give you two points for drawing this with all the correct forces they might just give you two points for drawing this uh, or labeling not labeling but um, naming this equation it's Newton's second law and you know eventually then the actual answer might not even be worth that many points because because you, you showed all your work correctly alright thanks for watching and keep watching more of my videos